can run on for a long time, run on for a long time, run on for a long time. Sooner or later, gotta cut you down. made a very fast trip this past weekend. I went to Salinas and I stayed there for one night. And so I've got an upcoming video that uh, will show that trip. And I also plan on explaining the confusing world of the bus. The terminal in Guayaquil, uh, there's a very strange quirk about it. And I'll walk you through that. And also what buses to take, how best to do it. Uh, so that'll be another video coming up uh, this coming week. And of course, I'll mention the uh, trip through the Cajas. Now you're probably wondering what that intro was all about. Um, I'm not one for conspiracy theories, but this was kind of weird. If you notice on the screen, you see the three last videos I did that were all about Venezuela. And one by one, they were deemed not suitable for most advertisers. And that means you can't monetize it. But more than that, what it means is the algorithm changes and you find yourself in a situation where your video can't be found or it's very difficult to be found unless you post it directly somewhere like I do on a Facebook page or subscribers, but even subscribers won't all get notification of these videos. Essentially, these videos, it's YouTube's way of making them go dark. Now, why would that be not suitable for advertisers? I made sure that uh, none of the scenes showed anybody hurt. There's no foul language. It's just fact and it's news. And it's also almost like a charity situation, a uh, charity operation. So why would they want to obscure these videos? I don't really know, but apparently somebody saw these videos and complained and uh, they're just trying to shut it down. Also, it kind of builds a record of like a strike against you. So I've got these in dispute, so we'll see what happens. I, hopefully it'll clear them up, but I just found it was very strange that one by one, uh, not too long after going up, uh, they were kind of shut down. So uh, we'll see what happens with that in the future. Now I don't do this very often, and I probably should do it more often on emails and messages and comments posted right on YouTube. Uh, I probably should go over them more often. But just, here's just a couple. Uh, the first one, uh, nice to see someone taking action, Lauren, good work. I've retired and plan to move uh, possibly to Cuenca in a few months. Let me know if you are renting temporary rooms at your house as planned. Now, I don't recall ever saying that. I haven't really given that much thought. Um, I suppose I could think about that, but it probably would bug me. You know, I, I'm not very social, as I've mentioned before, and you know, I try to be, but to have somebody come into my house that I don't really know and stay for a week or two, I, it might freak me out a little bit, so I don't know. It's probably not a bad idea. Um, and Avery, thank you. We'll see you soon. And this comment was what motivated me to want to do a, a comment. It's, hey there, I just want to thank you for showing that kind of empathy. He's talking about uh, Venezuela uh, video. Brother, may I call you that? Here in Venezuela, people are just dying. It's a waiting room for death and desolation. When we saw the video, my wife and I, we just cry and laugh like babies. Cry because it is true. Every single word that you say is just true. But also we laugh because there's hope. 
a way to go through this nightmare and find an exit. Aside from that being a very powerful statement when you reflect on it, uh, I just wanted to bring this out because uh, I've talked about this Venezuelan situation for, well, since I started making these videos, I mention it from time to time, and I mention it on Facebook, and I'm constantly chided by, uh, well, we'll say gringos, that I don't know what I'm talking about, and it's not that bad, and it's the whole situation is caused by Uncle Sam, and it's a CIA conspiracy, and it goes on and on, and I get blasted with this stuff. I have talked to countless people, I mean literally countless, I haven't counted them, dozens of people out of Venezuela, and what I say comes from them, and there's nobody that has that opinion. And uh, I try to shed light on this in the videos because it's, it is a nightmare of what's going on and there's a reason when you have so many people running from their own country. So many as in tens of thousands, we're over hundreds of thousands now of people fleeing and it affects everyone. They're flooding into the United States, they're in, in Colombia. Obviously, they're here in Cuenca, four or five thousand now. You've got um, a whole bunch of people going to Peru, to Chile. It's it's absolutely not a good thing to have this many people displaced with no means to survive. So it, it's you know it's nice to go on forums and just kind of spout off and give your opinion. That's great, but Sometimes you really need to stop and get some real information. Talk to people that are actually involved in what's going on. And, you know, get off the high horse and recognize the truth. So I will now get off my high horse. And uh, sorry for that, because I'm sure I offended some people. And this week, I will getting, be getting those videos out that I mentioned. I hope you enjoy those, and I will see you soon. You know you could.